run, run the obstacle course. He has a new wrinkle. He's looking always for more speed. And this wide receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers has shown us a lot already. But this is what he proposes to do on the high jump. What do you think of that? You don't think that won't pick up some time for you? Whew. That'll get you a couple of seconds if he executes it just right. Now let's go back to the start line and Reggie. Lynn, you've got a chance to pick up some extra money if you can get in the third or possibly even second place if Rigby and Grimnich do not qualify or do not get any points in this event. Do you think you're going to try your new wrinkle that you were showing us earlier today? Well, running in the middle of the event, I may have to to get a good time. And if my man over here is uh, pressing me for time, I may have to try a little wrinkle. I think it's going to give me a little added uh, stretch uh, going over the hurdles. It's, it's safer than hurling over it. You come down on your feet and you're still in that running stance. So if I need it, I'll do it. This will be the time that you have a chance to set another record. The last time you were here, you set a record. What do you think this time? You going to try to set another one? Well, you always got to do your best, Reggie. And if there's a record to be broken, I, I, I kind of like to think I can be the man to break it. <laughs> okay, set it up, Keith. Okay, Mr. Reggie Jackson of the Oakland A's, Bob Rigby and Wayne Grimditch have a chance to win the championship. But Rigby's got to win this event, and Grimditch has got to have a second. And here are two men that are going to be hard for anybody to beat or any time on the obstacle course, Lynn Swan, who is a record setter on it, and David Hemery, the Olympic hurdler from Great Britain, who is now a resident and a citizen of this country. David Hemery is a very agile, light, quick, and strong man who can burn it down. Uh, Rigby, Grimditch, and Rote all got a break a few minutes ago in their own way because of Ralph Boston having to pull up. So Swan and Hemery are on the way, and Swan is over the wall in a hurry, gets tangled for just a moment with the rope. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Lynn gets to going so fast. Sometimes if you just wonder how he escapes mistakes. If he grabs 10 points in this event, then he has a chance to total 29 and get a lot of money. He does his flip coming over the bar. And he clears the hurdles with a very good time. There are no red flags behind him. David Hemery did pick up a penalty. Hemery gets hit with a five-second penalty for knocking down the high bar. Swan side of the obstacle course is clean. He was up in the air and started to do his double flip, but I don't think he pulled it off quite the same way that he did. Want to, but nonetheless, let's check it. 24.07 for Lynn Swan, and that has a very good chance to get him into the runoff. The uh, time for Hemery, 29.80, but you're going to have to add some penalty to it. At five seconds of penalty. So Lynn Swan posts to 2407 and take a look at him in slow motion. As we see him come to the water jump, now he starts to set himself up for the high bar, which is a very troublesome thing. He took his, he started to go for the double flip, but he had to arch his back so much he didn't quite get it completed in the way that he wanted. A complete somersault in the air, landing on his feet with what he had in mind. All right. The next seat will be Rafer Johnson, who can fly over this thing, and Brian Oldfield, the big shot putter. They're just about ready to go. 